morning, good morning. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I have had the most productive morning. I took the time to get sorted. My house is tidy, clean. I've worked out, I've showered, I've got fresh hair. You know, you just feel great. And I've got a cute little matchy set on, which this is all brandy actually. I mean, I don't necessarily think it's supposed to match, but they're the same grays. So in my mind, it is a matching set. But something that I have not done yet today, I need to put my hair in a fresh way and I need to eat something because I am so hungry. But welcome back. How are you? Give this video a like if you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. And if you're new here and you keep coming across my videos and you keep clicking them, please hit that subscribe button. I feel like that's such a nice way for us to connect. And I just, I think it's nice that you get to kind of join my story and carry on with me. So if you do want to see more of my story and see what I'm going to get up to over the next however long in my life, then make sure you subscribe. And if you don't want to miss these videos, turn my notifications on because that way it will pop up and let you know what the vlog is. And if it's something that you're like, you know, maybe not particularly interested in you can just like leave it until later or if it's something that tickles your fancy maybe you'll like, want to watch it sooner you know it's just nice to know i like to be in the know but anyway let's go downstairs and eat if you haven't already gathered it is dressing gown wash day shall we go downstairs come on i always wonder how much he actually understands when i talk to him how much do you know I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm not tired, not that. Let's do this one first. I also have some very sad news. This morning something happened and I can't believe it. I'm still processing. I killed my sourdough starter. Yeah, it was in my warming drawer and my warming drawer was on four, not on one. So it cooked. But I do think there might be a bit of it in Em's fridge, so I'm not crying, or not that I cry over a sourdough starter anyway. But it was three years old, and you know, I think I've done very well considering how often I've moved to keep it alive. But yes, it is no more. Therefore, I shall be making no sourdough, which means I need to order some. But I can't remember what I ordered. Okay. Well, firstly, I got the macaroni one, the Brussels sprout mac and cheese. I got this because I always just like to get one of the macaroni ones because they're easy and quick. And if my sister comes and visits, it's just like the easy meal. I got the cheesy chicken and serrano ham parmigiana. Yum. <gasps> Yay. And I got the Cumberland sausage and root veg mash. Yum. I think these are all there. No, that's not a festive one. I think these two are. But yeah, it has carrots. Love carrots. Okay. Let's put this all away. I'll show you the other parcel afterwards, but I'm going to make some eggs and some salmon. But yeah, the other parcel is actually a homeware parcel, which is very, very exciting. I'm trying to think what you've missed. Not much since last night. So we're having four. Oh, see, I should just use them all up. Three eggs, six yolks. But I am very, very, very excited about my HelloFresh this week because I love Brussels sprouts and Brussels sprout mac and cheese is just like my idea of heaven. Okay, we're doing scrambled egg. Oh no, I think one of the eggs has gone bad. Now I'm scared. There's definitely a bad egg in there and I put the bad egg in with the good eggs. I hate myself. I have more eggs in the fridge. Anyway, starting again with not gone off eggs. That's a shame. Oh, don't roll off, don't roll off. Smoked salmon, for me, the smell of it, just I heavily associate with Christmas. I don't know why. Maybe it's because when I was younger, that's when we would mainly have it. But I love it. Every time I open a packet, I'm like, oh, so festive. And then we need, actually, I do want pepper. I moved the pepper over to the, like, the spice cupboard and not over here. And something's telling me that's going to be insanely inconvenient, so I'm going to leave it here. And I'm also going to have some of the big apple and balsamic from Marks and Spencer's. This is, oh, I've got pepper all over my hand. This is so yummy. I'm going to have this with the eggs. Mm. This is my breakfast. I feel like I never show you my breakfast. I think it's because I usually just sit in silence, but this is today's. I would have had sourdough, but I killed it. You can kind of see the garland. Actually, you know what's just arrived? The Amazon parcel that should have the cable ties in, but I actually don't have the other 
garland yet, so I can't do that. But this is a very exciting parcel. This is from Pookie. Now, so many of the lights in my house are Pookie. The ones next to my bed, my lamp there, my lamp next to my bed as well. Sorry, I got cold. And I also decided to put my hair up, which I don't know why I did because I never do that. I need to not do that or it's going to get kinked. But I ordered a couple of very exciting lamp bases and let me show you the lampshades that i chose i have actually i think i told you ordered some new lampshades to my bedroom because i'm going to put those lampshades downstairs in the living room and i just thought they'd fit better but how cute I thought these were quite transitional and I could use them year round because they're green. But this was actually wholly inspired by Josie. So at her wedding, which I don't think I actually spoke too much about, but it was beautiful. I filmed so much whilst I was there to film like TikTok vlogs and bits like that. I didn't like vlog vlog, but I ended up just being in the moment and really enjoying it. And then I still got all the things on my phone and I just never, I don't know. Oh, it says, I hope the new lamp brings you endless pockets of joy and light. Matthew, I guess that's the founder. And yeah, the reason this was wholly inspired by Josie is because she had these at her wedding on the tables. And as the, the wedding event kind of progressed, they just moved from place to place with us. And they were such a mood setter. And she had the gold ones, but I've got the antique bronze because that's what all of my sockets are and they are rechargeable lamps and i i was watching and there was no problem with them dying which i was like okay i'm sold and i thought these would sit so nicely on my island i got maybe i should have got the slightly smaller oh no i think they're fine i got yeah the bronze because obviously i want them to match whoa they're on i want them to match my like house and i could have done the brass which are a brighter gold but i just think this looks more expensive and you know if i can make things look more expensive i'm definitely going to so this is the 20 cent centimeter lampshade actually i should have put this on before the bulb shouldn't i this is dangerous okay like this yes oh my gosh i'm so happy stop it so this can just sit on my island or even up here or i need to secure it properly but i even thought this could look quite nice on my bookshelves and in my drawing room i don't know yet there's so many places that i can put them but i got did i get two of the same in the end I don't remember. I went back and forth. There were so many things that I wanted to get, but I told myself to be sensible, which I feel like I was because there was about eight things in my basket and here we have four. So two lamp, lamp bases and a lampshade for each. Oh yeah, I think this is just identical. And I just, I think these are beautiful. I really do. And I don't think they look gimmicky. I don't think they look like rechargeable lamps. They definitely look far more high end than the Amazon one. I mean, they are a lot more expensive. The Amazon one was literally like 17 pounds. These are not 17 pounds. <laughs> but these feel weighty. And I just think that's it's part of the charm, isn't it? Ah, that's what I did wrong. I have to secure it. I'm also over the moon with the lampshades. I would actually buy these for my bedroom. The ones I've got for my bedroom are a bit more plain. I would buy these actually. I like them honestly over the moon over the moon i need to figure out how you control them i mean there is an ah on and off okay fine ah different brightnesses okay we love it well <laughs> there's me i need to figure it out figures it out i like it really bright just for now i mean it's daytime doesn't look like it how nice are these i am over the moon and they obviously come with charges but i'm just gonna sit these out on my island for now now it's making me think i need a garland down the center of my island no one tell me to or i will <laughs> i'm so easily led well that is not what i ordered they are fluorescent green i definitely ordered dark green so don't know what to do about that but i put my cute little eight eight no not acorns pine cones in my fruit bowl and then i'm just gonna place the fruit on top thought that was so festive probably a bit gross but for bananas and things like that it's fine uh but i'm gonna make myself a lovely coffee and then honestly spend some time with my dog i just feel like i really want to give him some quality time i'm gonna put some youtube on the telly and just chill i have some work to get done so i'm going to do that too and then yeah that's just today's just gonna be a really slow chill day but that is a bit annoying 
you guys. It took us so long to find a parking space. We finally found one. M is here and we are going to buy our family and friends, not ourselves, present <laughs> of Paris. I'd love to go into the food hall. Uh, I guess. And I would really love to go to Chanel's shoe section. Love to go to Lululemon. Yes. And oh, tech. Please. I should have brought my Lululemon dress back. Are you, oh, is that right? No. Oh. And it ripped when I put it on. The labels, the white labels ripped off, so I need to get them adjusted. Oh, gosh. I'll take them in Chelsea next week, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else? What do you want to. Oh, um, can we go to Carpo first? Carpo, dates. I'd like to get a hot need chocolate a snack. at the hot chocolate place. Yeah, you need a snack before we the start. Gigante. Sheet. I need a snack, definitely. Well, let's do maybe let's go first. Let's go do get a snack first. And mm. then, I don't know, I'm just excited. And we're matching completely. Yeah, we literally like didn't even mean to do this. Not the memo. But I also just need to make sure there's nothing on yeah, show in my car. Idea. I don't think there is. But yes, like we chat, isn't it? are like 10 minute walk down the road from Harrods. Should we walk up uh, Walton Street? Yes. I would like to. Yeah, I need a snack catch. I'm very hungry now you've said that. No, I'm really hungry. Now, I'm, now you've said it, I'm, yeah. like, I'm so hungry. Okay, I'm glad we're aligned. Okay, good, always aligned. We have a plan of action. And Here does away. our plan of action make sense? Probably not. Absolutely not. But we're thinking with our stomachs. <laughs> We're going to Carbo first, which is going to be the most empty place, which means I can't really get a coffee, oh, can no, I? Should we do Harrods first? We then? should do Harrods, but I want a snack. Do you okay, want a snack? Okay, let's get a snack. We need a snack. Yeah, we need a snack. So this is what I'm going to get, one of the oat bars, and I'm also going to get some of this, which is milk chocolate rocks with, no, that's the hazelnut one. I'm going to get this one, the milk chocolate rocks with oat biscuit. So good. If you ever wondered what London looked like in December, it's this. <laughs> it's rainy, it's grey. So good. Oh, is it dead? Mm. What did you get? I got... Um. <laughs> I got the oat biscuits. And then he gave me these. Oh, this is so sweet. Did you get some as well? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like a naked bar? Mm -hmm. Do you want a bit? I don't know if that's a good thing. I used to be obsessed with it. Right, come on. Mm. Oh, it's nicer than a naked bar. It's, um, sweeter. Yeah, I was just gonna say, as I like that. Mm. Oh, it's really nice. Mm. Natural. Mm. Mm. We got the exact same. Yeah. We got the exact same. Thank you for that close up. These are what I'm looking at. I saw a few different styles when I was at Vista. I think it was these ones. I mean, it was the brown ones anyway. That tells you how much I <laughs> know about headphones. I quite like the beige ones too. Oh, the navy. But I really just want some over ear headphones. I feel like I'm, I'm lacking that. I am on a coat hunt. And I do kind of love this. I wonder if this is on the seasonal reductions. And it's gorgeous. So I'm just trying the coat on and I think I want to try a larger size. I mean like this it looks fine but I obviously am going to wear it with jumpers under most of the time. This is a 34 so I'm going to try a 36 and even a 38 because it is quite fitted but I love it. You guys look at this. They've got all their Christmassy bits in still. Oh my goodness. You know I love Sandro, this is so exciting. I wonder if they have, yes look, this is the dress that I was looking at on Regent Street. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I mean it looks less beautiful on the hanger, it looked way better on the mannequin. But that's also nice, not a fan of that. I think I've tried this on, that's cute. Oh I love this so much, I think that's stunning. What are the chances? I've stumbled across Canada Goose. I really like the look of the green one. I feel like it definitely has to be long though or it defeats the purpose and I'll just reach for my other one. Oh, this is nice. They have the Nano Alma. So this is the Alma BB and the Nano Alma. That's the difference. Oh, stop it. How adorable. It's by the children's items. <laughs> But it's so cute. You guys, are you ready to see how festive it looks in here? I feel like as you turn the corner, look at all the decorations on the elevator. So I'm walking down the stairs of the Egyptian escalators. And I think because they're gold, it just looks even more festive. But look at this, so sweet. Okay, this is where we're going. So we are at Women's Wear Super Brands. I feel like Mew Mew always have the most beautiful things in this time of year. Oh my goodness, stop it. I love the gold one. I also love that. You know what, last year I really wanted to get a Mew Mew look for New Year's and I didn't. I wish I had. Oh my goodness, look at this and Celine. It's beautiful. I love the floral jacket. I know it's a lot, 
but isn't it gorgeous? There's quite a similar one on Hill House, but it's like a um, body warmer. Look, you guys, they've got so many white. Look, that's a small white classic flap. If I didn't have my other one, I would definitely get that. It's adorable. Okay, bring on the chaos. This is the food hall. I want to get some eggs. I also want to see if they've got any Christmas cheeses in that I want to get. And then I'd also love to go to the chocolate hall as well. These are the double yolk Clarence Court. Honestly, yum. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's making me so hungry. Oh my goodness, they've got the Christmas ladder act in. Look at this, it's so cute. Oh, see now this is a bit of me. The Russia tree. Heck yeah, look at the little bear. I do love these as well though. I think these are a great gift, but me personally, I'm all about like the reindeer or even the boots. Wow, I didn't know this was down here. Ah, here we go. So this is the arcade, travel goods and luggage. This is where I wanted to go. Christmas world. It's so cool down here. I feel like I never used to come down here and then I ventured down one time. I think looking for the loos, being completely honest, and I was completely blown away. All the recipe books, you've got the Ottolenghi book. You know what, I think a book is such a great Christmas gift, especially a recipe book. Oh, I hear this is quite good. Oh, this looks good. Five ingredient Mediterranean meals. Oh my goodness, the Borough Market cookbook. That's so cool. I must say, I am quite taken in by the front covers. Here we go, welcome to Christmas world. <laughs> if this doesn't give me inspo, then I don't know what will. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell what it smelled like in here. It smells incredible. They've got wrapping supplies. Oh my goodness, look, these are all ornaments. There's bright and colorful ones. Oh, cute, look at that. Look at all these, oh my goodness, the wreaths. It looks like a, uh, a finish line flag. <laughs> I'm in the Harrods gift shop now, so there is some festive things in here, but mainly it's gifts. I mean, it's kind of crazy. I would imagine this on like Christmas Eve would be insane. And it is hot chocolate time. I went for the 49% milk, which is like dark milk. And then I got whipped cream and some sea salt. This is going to be perfection. I'm home and I'm just getting changed to take little man out on a walk. But I thought I would show you the garlands now it's dark. I also didn't have time to put these things away earlier when I was rushing out the door. He knows where we're going and he's getting excited. But yeah, I am waiting on, like I said, the other garlands for the kitchen. And I need to cable tie the one in the hallway. I didn't order another one for the hallway. I think one looks fine. I mean, it does look a bit brown. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look amazing, but is it festive when you walk in the door? Yes. And is that kind of the point? Yeah. So I feel like it's fine. I also need to buy some new socks because I'm about to go for a walk in bark or socks. But you know what? It's fine. Today's been a bit of a blur, really. I think because we're getting so close to winter solstice, the days are super short and they're just flying. Even though I get up at such a reasonable time, I'm gonna go to bed stupidly early, but even though I get up at a reasonable time in the morning, I still feel like the days are so incredibly short and it's such a shame. But at the same time, I've been really enjoying my cozy time and just sitting. You want to cuddle, don't you? Watching YouTube and just like slower living. It's in the minuses out there, so let me grab a hat. <gasps> If I show you my beanie drawer. So I still don't know if this is going to be the final, you know, hat drawer, but this is my beanie of choice. It's, they're pretty much all, this is acne and then this is acne and then the rest are and other stories. They are the best beanies. Although I will not be putting it on right now or I'll be walking around the house talking to you with a hat on and I'm sure <laughs> it's just not a vibe. I don't know if I showed you the boots there. I don't know if I did. For now, they're there. And then also for now, I've put my IKEA bags of clothes. But what I am going to do is get some lovely baskets for at the top. And then I'm going to get some clothes storage bags for my summer clothes that I can then put away just in the eaves in my room because they don't need to be there. I don't need access to them. And being, you know, quite frankly, they don't look the prettiest. 
and although I want my wardrobes to be practical, I still want them to look lovely. But this is tomorrow's job, not for today. So it's pitch black right now, but this is what you see when you walk in. I mean, I think it looks adorable, but at the same time, I don't have any like, I guess I could put that upstairs light on and leave that off. Wait a sec. Oh, see, that looks cuter. Do you know what I mean? I, is, it, is it random? Do I need to get another garland so they're both a bit longer either side? And then it just, I feel like you walk through a curtain. Is that weird? Anyway, the kitchen one looks so much better. So this is how the kitchen is looking. Obviously, I've got my lamps, which big fan, big fan, and my pine cone bowl. And look! So obviously there's two more coming, so it's not going to look like this. But if I just needed the one, then I could act. No, I definitely need two. Mm. Unless I did one in the middle and then use the one that's not got any lights on for thickness. I was going to say I could put that the other one out in the hallway, but they're a different type. No, no, no. I just need to use the other two in here. And then this will look like literal perfection. But now I've got the lampshade in green on the island. I'm very much tempted to get this size in the green so it all matches. This is pink right now. But it would be nice if it was all cohesive. But I do love this. I think when they'll be slightly longer each side and I'll have slightly more thickness in the middle and it'll obviously be lit up throughout. I think it will look great. And as you can see, I did the velvet around it. I just wrapped it all around and used some glue dots and then just tied it with a little bit of ribbon. And honestly, it looks it looks fine. It looks festive. I do feel the decorations are very unfinished. Not unfinished, half finished. There's a lot, it feels like there's a lot of like started and not completed. But it's not that I just haven't bothered, it's that I don't have half the things to do. But I feel like this is the year of testing the waters, and then next year I will know more about what I'm doing but I'm going to flip these off to go out and shall we go for a walk my darling it's his favorite time of the day okay i'm gonna go and take my puppy for a walk and i'll catch up with you when we're back let's go i don't know if you can tell from my face but it's freezing it's in the minuses out there i genuinely don't know what i would do without my candy goose i've not been leaving the house in anything else because it's the only thing that keeps me warm but i'm going to make myself a nice hot cup of tea i've been loving peppermint tea in the evenings and I recently got the yeah, Ernest one. I was drinking the Tea Pigs one, and I think I do prefer that one, but it ran out, and this is where I was, so I got that instead. But I am loving my hot tap. I would say there's a couple of things that I definitely noticed that I regret in my renovation. I know I, I spoke about some of them, like back in October when I was vlogging, but there's definitely some more. So if you want me to talk about those in, I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, you can. <laughs> if you want me to talk about those in another vlog, then let me know because yeah, I, I don't know, I was thinking about it earlier and I would say, I don't know, I, I just do some things differently and they're things that are too big to change now. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog and you hear a random rumbling noise behind you, it's my <laughs> diffuser, so do not be alarmed. It's just my oil diffuser that I literally found yesterday. So yes, please uh, don't let that distract you. But I have realized I need to wash my Christmas pajamas. I had two pairs that were supposed to rotate and I didn't wash the other pair, so I need to actually put them in the wash because right now I'm not wearing Christmas pajamas and that just feels like a bit of a crime because there's such like a small window that we actually get to wear them. So I thought we'd change the skincare up tonight. I have this algae face mask. It's from Amazon, as in like Amazon own. I did not know they had face masks, but I was in the airport, maybe, I think it was back in September. And I mean, I'm sure it was because I was in the airport and everything was marked up, but they were like seven or eight pounds in there, which I just thought was ridiculous. What I normally do is buy the Garnier, like they have like a mask, do they call it maskmas? They're like a mask advent thing where you get like 12 in a pack. And I usually buy one of those or two of those each year. And then I'm kind of good for the year. But now I know that they have these on Amazon and they're really affordable. Maybe I will end up using them more frequently because I always use them so sparingly. But now I feel like I've made a huge discovery. Oh, this feels amazing. Well, my friends, I leave you on this stunning note. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. I had a lovely, although chaotic time at Harrods. But yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night.